NASA's Voyager 1, now super far from Earth, has amazed people for almost 50 years. Since it took off way back, it's been sending us cool information from the edge of the solar system and beyond adding cool facts to what we know about space. Lately, though, the probe has been sending weird signals. This has scientists scratching their heads, wondering if it's just tech stuff or if something way bigger is going on. Maybe even aliens. So, we're going to check out these weird signals and think about what secrets might be hiding out there. We've always been into space stuff, wanting to figure things out. That's why we did missions like Pioneer 10 and 11 setting things up for even bigger plans. Back on August 20th, 1977, NASA shot Voyager 2 from the Kennedy Space Center, kicking off a big change in how we see space. Just weeks later, on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 went up, heading to the outer planets and beyond changing its path and what it could teach us. Each probe, weighing about as much as a small car, 721 kilograms, went its own way at its own speed. By December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 was farther from Earth than Voyager 2 since they were going different directions. Ever since, Voyager 1 has been bringing us essential info, changing what we thought we knew about the sky. Before we talk about Voyager 1's recent news, let's remember what it did at the start. In 1979, about 265 million kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 snapped really clear photos of Jupiter. By January, it had spent 100 hours watching made a time lapse showing Jupiter spinning. It was made of 3,750 photos, showing us crazy clouds and stuff nobody had ever seen before. Also, Voyager 1 found a ring around Jupiter and two new moons, giving us a better feel for that big planet. To miss hitting Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, the probe changed course carefully. After that, it went away from planets and into deep space, moving super fast at 325 million kilometers per year. In January 1990, Voyager 1 officially started its interstellar mission, heading beyond our solar system. It also found four more moons, Mimis, Celadus, Tuz, and Rhea, and grabbed some cool pics of the solar system's outer areas. One of Voyager 1's best moments was on February 14, 1990, when it was about 6 billion kilometers from the sun. It took the famous family portrait, 60 photos of the inner planets. These joined other pictures of close encounters with those gas giants. At the same time, Voyager 2 was doing great stuff. When it flew by Neptune, it measured winds over 2,100 kilometers per hour, about 1,300 meters per second, the fastest ever in our solar system. It also saw Neptune's biggest moon, Triton, where it was super cold, minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 235 degrees Celsius. Triton had icy geysers shooting nitrogen gas and frozen bits up to 5 kilometers high, adding to what we knew about the place. All of this seriously grew our understanding of the wild conditions way out there. What Voyager 1 and 2 found has been huge. For example, they spotted weird geology on Jupiter and Saturn's moons, which everyone thought were dead. Voyager 2 is the only probe to have gotten close to both Uranus and Neptune. NASA planned ahead two shutting down stuff that wasn't needed to save power. This let the mission keep going into the 2030s, a big deal for space science. The Voyagers are awesome pieces of engineering. They turned slowly, so the pictures weren't blurry even though they were speedy. Before they even got to those outer planets, they were sending clear images like Jupiter's crazy clouds and the Great Red Spot, an enormous storm that still has scientists interested. Another big thing was finding volcanoes on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Voyager stuff picked up weird signs, then saw towering plumes and a totally changed place. One eruption on Io was thought to be 1,000 times stronger than Mount St. Helens in 1980, covering an area about the size of France. As the probes went farther from the sun, engineers started turning off systems to save juice. The Voyagers didn't photograph Mercury or Mars, though because of how the mission was set up. NASA sent other stuff, like Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons to do that. On February 17, 1998, Pioneer 10 went past Pioneer 11 as the farthest probe from Earth. 
Voyager 1 kept going for 14 more years before hitting interstellar space on August 25, 2012. One thing that helped these missions was using gravity from planets to get a speed boost and change direction. That way, they saved fuel and could travel far. For example, as Voyager 1 neared Jupiter, the planet's gravity slingshotted ahead, making it faster without changing its course. Voyager 2 did the same with Jupiter and Saturn to get to Uranus and Neptune, showing that this trick worked. Today, scientists are excited to look at the weird signals Voyager 1 has been sending. The probe is still working way outside the solar system, exploring what's out there. Time-lapse stuff has shown 10 eruptions on Jupiter and found new moons, plus a hidden ring around the planet. This gave us a bigger look at Jupiter's complex world. Voyager 1 also spotted four new moons around Saturn and sent cool shots of the planet's rings, which had some strange patterns. Flybys of Uranus and Neptune provided important info on their air and moons, teaching us about the solar system's farthest spots. After their planet missions, the Voyagers headed for the stars. Even now, they send key scientific data, opening doors to space we once thought was empty. The science folks are still waiting for updates on Voyager 1's mysterious transmissions, hoping for clues that might switch up how we see the universe. Besides all the science, the Voyager probes carry a powerful symbol of hope, the golden record. This copper disc has greetings in 55 languages, music from all over, and sounds from Earth, like thunder and whale songs. It's there to show who we are to any aliens that might find it. Equipped with fancy stuff like magnetometers, plasma wave detectors, and cameras, the Voyagers have changed how we see planets. Their magnetometers showed how magnetic fields mess with space around the gas giants, and plasma sensors helped scientists see how solar wind bangs on planetary atmospheres. One cool thing was mapping the heliosphere, that bubble of charged particles and magnetic fields around our solar system. As Voyager 1 neared this thing, it found a change from solar wind space to interstellar stuff, teaching us critical things about how this bubble blocks bad cosmic rays. The probe spotted a spot called the termination shock, where solar winds slow down and get thicker, then the helio sheath, where solar and interstellar stuff crash together. These finds totally changed how we think about Space Edge's Voyager 2 added to this, finding weird stuff about Uranus's tilted magnetic field. This broke the old models and started new research on planetary magnetism. Outside of schools, the Voyager missions made everyone interested in space again. Their cool pictures and interesting finds have inspired people for generations. Shots like Saturn's rings and Io's volcanoes are what we think of when we want to explore. As the probes go deeper into interstellar space, they keep sending data that might answer major questions about the universe. Early missions looked at planets, but recent stuff shows that even the space between stars is full of action. One interesting find has been cosmic rays from far-off parts of the galaxy. These fast particles give us clues about wild stuff in distant star-forming areas. By checking their energy and what they're made of, scientists hope to get a better feel for how galaxies act way beyond our own. Voyager 1 and 2 also keep checking out the interstellar medium, that big cloud of gas and dust between stars. This stuff messes with solar wind and helps shape the heliosphere. As the probes move through these areas, they send data that scientists use to model energy and matter throughout the cosmos. Also, the probes have helped show what magnetic fields in interstellar space are like. These finds might one day lead to breakthroughs in how we grasp magnetic forces throughout the galaxy. The Voyager missions don't just make our science better. They also nudge future space explorers. That unforgettable pale blue dot photo showing Earth as a tiny thing from over 6 billion kilometers away reminds us where we are. The Voyager program's success has set the stage for future space endeavors. Thanks to the tech from these missions, we're closer to sending probes to distant star systems. Dreams of checking out exoplanets, finding livable worlds, even doing interstellar trips are starting to look real. Now, Scientists are excited about the weird signals Voyager 1 is sending. The spacecraft is still working way outside the solar system, still exploring the unknown. Time-lapse stuff has shown 10 eruptions on Jupiter and found new satellites and a ring around the planet, 
which has taught us a lot about Jupiter. Voyager 1 also found four new moons around Saturn and sent back stunning photos of the planet's rings, which had unexpected details. Flybys of Uranus and Neptune gave us important data about their atmospheres and moons, adding to what we know about the outer solar system. After their planet missions, the Voyagers headed for the stars. Even now, they send back important data, giving us a peek into areas of space we thought were empty. Scientists are still waiting for updates on Voyager 1's mysterious signals, hoping for clues that could change how we see the universe. Besides their scientific stuff, the Voyager probes carry a message of hope in the form of the Golden Record. This record has greetings in 55 languages, music from around the world, and sounds from Earth like thunder and whale songs, meant to introduce us to any aliens out there. Equipped with cool instruments like magnetometers, plasma wave detectors, and imaging systems, the Voyagers have changed how we see planets. Their magnetometers showed how magnetic fields interact with space near the gas giants, while plasma sensors helped map how solar wind impacts planetary atmospheres. One big achievement was mapping the heliosphere, the protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields around our solar system. As Voyager 1 got near this boundary, it saw a change from solar wind to interstellar stuff, giving us info on how this shield protects us from cosmic rays. The spacecraft found a region called the Termination Shock, where solar winds slow down, and the helio sheath, where solar and interstellar particles bump into each other. These findings changed how we understand space boundaries. Voyager 2 added to this by finding surprising stuff about Uranus's tilted magnetic field, which has led to new research. Outside of science, the Voyager missions have made people excited about space again. Their amazing pictures and discoveries have inspired generations. Iconic images like Saturn's rings and Io's volcanoes have become symbols of our desire to explore. As they go deeper into space, they keep sending back data that could answer some of the universe's biggest questions. While early missions focused on planets, recent stuff shows that even the space between stars is interesting. One cool thing has been finding cosmic rays from far away in the galaxy. These particles, moving close to the speed of light, give us clues about violent events in distant star-forming regions. By studying them, scientists hope to learn more about galaxies far, far away. Voyager 1 and 2 also keep studying the interstellar medium, the gas and dust between stars. These materials interact with the solar wind and help shape the heliosphere. As the probes move through these areas, they send back data that scientists use to model energy and matter in the cosmos. Plus, the probes have helped explain magnetic fields in interstellar space. These findings could one day lead to big breakthroughs in how we understand magnetism throughout the galaxy. The Voyager missions don't just widen our scientific understanding, but also inspire future space explorers. The unforgettable pale blue dot photo showing Earth as a tiny speck from over 6 billion kilometers away, reminds us of our place in the universe. The success of the Voyager program has set the stage for future space projects. Thanks to the technology developed during these missions, we're closer than ever to sending probes to distant star systems. Dreams of exploring exoplanets, finding habitable worlds, and even achieving interstellar travel are slowly becoming a reality.